Hey guys, welcome to Star Stable with Stacy. I hope you liked your sneak little preview of what we're gonna get at the mall today. <laughs> I'm very excited. We need some gear for Honey Clover. He deserves it. Look, he's still level one. I haven't even raced him yet. <laughs> Maybe he'll just be the horse that we keep at level one forever. Nah, <laughs> that will never happen. <laughs> Maybe we'll see how long we can go. <laughs> It will drive you guys crazy, I'm sure of it. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I'm here at the mall now to check out some of the new items, because uh, Honey Clover needs some gear. <laughs> so I wanted to come see what was new. Uh, Star Stable incorporated this awesome feature where now you can sort by new, <laughs> sort by date of when things were released. And I think lately the items have been so cool, so it's even more awesome that we can sort by new. Look at that, he looks pretty stunning in this gear, I must say. <laughs> There's new colors, new patterns, the subtle green is working very well with Honey Clover. Excellent, there's even some new clothes that kind of match the new gear. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys some of the gear we got for Honey Clover and uh, a new shirt and <laughs> helmet as well. I couldn't resist the pattern. It has little horses on it. How adorable is that? <laughs> we got him. <laughs> the brown winter riding set green winter riding bridle. The saddle's called brown and the saddle pad is green winter riding saddle pad. And then we found some yellow and green leg wraps to match. I think the green complements his color so well. We also picked up uh, the pink set. Well, brown recreation set, but it's, it's got pink in it as well. The pink recreation bridle and the black and white recreation little saddle pad. But they're all black with some pink and brown. I love it. I think this also complements his color very well. The pink stands out and black looks really good on him as well. So if you get this horse, those are some excellent colors. Green, pink, and black all stand out very well. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you bought any of the new gear that's been showing up in the mall. It's beautiful. <laughs> and clothes. It's been a lot of fun lately, so let me know what you've bought and what your favorite items are lately. I'm at Mrs. Holdsworth because she was making some green dye for us that should be ready now. I know. Your green dye is ready now. Oh, good. <laughs> I have to say it turned out very well. You choose really fine leaves for it, and the olive oil was the final touch. The color really shines. Thank you. So we will take that to Donald the Tailor, and hopefully... Our vest will be done. <laughs> There's Donald. Oh, thank you, Nova. What a beautiful green color. Oh, purple. Hello, Nova. Now we only need one more color. Then I could start making your vest. What I need is a special tint of purple, and I've heard that the Baroness herself has started using purple grapes to dye the fabric of her beautiful dresses. It's only a rumor, but I think you should ride to the vineyard and ask her. I can mix red and blue, but I think your vest deserves the perfect purple tint. There she is, Madame Baroness. Madame. Where did you hear that, young lady, the tailor? Yes, it's true. My grapes are so rich in pigment that it, if you do it the right way, you can get a really nice purple color, which I like to use myself. But I, I don't want everyone in Jorvik to know about this and then come here and take my valuable grapes, so I keep it to myself. Well, now that you already know about it, I'll help you. You've been so helpful around here. If you can help me with today's grape harvest, you can take some of them and make dye. Pick grapes from the vines on the right and left side of the parkway, which is the entrance to the vineyard. Nine grapes. Ooh, we went by one. Grapes collected. Thank you, Nova. This harvest will suffice for making dye. If you come back tomorrow, I'll have the dye for you. How I make it will be my little secret. Everybody likes their little secrets. Make it die. Serious business around here. Ah, oh, the vet should have something to say about the chipmunks today. 
I'm back now. Sorry that you had to wait. I did some thinking while I was away, and I think that the best approach is to befriend the chipmunks. <laughs> yes, befriend. They love cabbage. If you put down cabbage in the holes, I guarantee that they will love you. After that, you can build a place where they are allowed to dig. You can mark the place with signs so people know it has holes. If you give the chipmunks some cabbage now, then they'll stay. They also like to take baths because they get so dirty when they dig. Tell Steve this. <laughs> That's an interesting solution, I guess, to the problem. Sure. Steve Chipmunk solution. <laughs> Don't leave me no problem. Befriend the chipmunks. We've made peace with the mice now, so why not the chipmunks? <laughs> this place will be a zoo soon. <laughs> okay. We'll have a chipmunk attraction, sure. Now, Derek should have something to tell us about the gondola lift that we were working on. Hey, Derek. Hey. Answer to the order? Didn't you see the helicopter? They flew in a huge helicopter loaded down with all the parts for the gondola lift yesterday. They must have flown all night back and forth to get it done. They were flying in the direction of Northlink, so I imagine it has all been delivered directly there. Right over there and check it out. Okay. Thanks for your help, Derek. Oh, there it is! There's all the gondola carts. Really cool! Here's the foreman. Really? Yes, it has gone really smoothly, Nova. The gondola lift has been delivered. Fantastic. The gondola lift was the most important thing, but of course we need a few more things to do. This is the first time I've worked in Jorvik, so I don't know all the local builders here yet. I've spoken a bit with the guys digging the tunnel down there. We might be able to borrow equipment we need from them. The first thing we need is an excavator so that we can level the ground where the new station will be built. Ride over and see if we can borrow their excavator. Crew leader. An excavator. I only have one, you know. But you can borrow my excavator if you help me with something. We have a lot of free time up here, so I have a lot of time to spend on my favorite hobby, video games. Right now, I don't have any good games. But there is a game I really, really want to play right now. It might be the best horse game ever. The problem is, I can't seem to find it here on the island. Somebody has to have it. Zombie Horse Pole Bending Apocalypse is what it is called. Find me a copy of that game and you could borrow my excavator. Like I said, I have no idea who might have a copy of it. Maybe someone who is interested in pole bending? Well... There's only one person I know who's into pole bending. It sure isn't me. <laughs> I think that's way too difficult. Let's go visit Josh. <laughs> yes, there he is. Josh. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse? I have that. Or at least I used to have a copy. Uh it was a really great game, but a much too scary for me. The pole bending tracks were so scary, they gave me nightmares. But I couldn't seem to stop playing the game, so I threw it away. The problem was, I couldn't find a single garbage can in all of Silverglade. Not a single one! Eventually, I sneaked up behind Jasper's old house and hid it in the old stuff in his attic. <laughs> That's so weird. He's moved away, so I thought it wouldn't matter. I'm a little embarrassed about it now, so you don't need to give me a hard time about it. The game is probably still there anyway. That's really weird, Josh. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> but alright, we'll go check. Oh, there it is. Ooh, we almost fell. Don't fall. You don't find the game, but that hat looks familiar. Who did that hat belong to? Hat? I don't see a hat. You remember that hat. Who was wearing it? Oh, is it in our inventory? Okay, so this little white hat. The only thing that comes to my mind is James. Because I don't remember anybody else wearing a ball cap. It must be James. Let's go look. <laughs> we'll go find out. <gasps> it is James. Look, he is wearing a hat similar to that. <laughs> I really had to bring up my map and think about who was located where 
And what hat they wore. Derek wears a hat like that too, but I think it's red to match his red shirt. The Baroness doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> I went through like every character to remember who wears a hat like that. It's James. The Nova. Hello, Nova. Hey, that's my hat. I lost it a few days ago. Where did you find it? At Jasper's old house. It's good that I sell those hats, so I never have to be without one. But it is nice of you to ride all the way back here to return it. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse? I have that. Or I used to have it. I remember now. I, I thought I would start a used goods market, which would work great here in Fort Pinta, and I needed things to sell. I thought maybe Jasper had left some stuff behind that might be good enough to sell, but the only thing I found was that game, Zombie Pole Bending Apocalypse. That must be the best game ever. It was so much fun to play. I played all night, and all day, then all night again. I forgot to take care of my customers. It was that good. You understand I couldn't keep doing that, so I had to sell it. The person who bought it was an older lady from Firgrove. I, I think her name was Miss Morse. She said she had never played games before, but wondered what it was like. So I sold her the game and my old game console. I'm sure she's in Firgrove if you want to speak with her. All right then. Thanks, James. But listen, yeah, Miss mom, mom, mom. Morse, she lives here, but we haven't seen her since this morning. Uh-oh. I'm a mom, mom. Uh, she lives here in Firgrove, but she isn't here now. Yesterday I saw her ride out of here faster than the wind. Her horse was packed with pole bending poles. <laughs> I've never seen her so riled up about anything. She screamed yee-haw when she saw me and rode up through the mountain pass towards Veildale Lake. <laughs> Sounds like she was loving that game. <laughs> Let's go find her. There she is. With a very beautiful horse. I know. Howdy, yes, I'm Mrs. Morse. Or Ms. Morse. Woohoo, what a game. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse. I've been up playing all night, and when the sun came up, I knew I had to make a proper pole bending ap apocalypse race. <laughs> Just like in the game. But now I'm not sure it was a good idea. Now that the course is done and I've calmed down a little, the course actually looks. Well, it looks really dangerous, actually. I don't think I would be able to ride it myself. You want to have the game? Oh, I, I don't know. It was so much fun. Tell you what, if you can manage to ride my pole bending course, I'll give you the game as a reward. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to get a race out of Honey Clover anyway. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I just wasn't sure where we were gonna go. Okay, let's do this. Take it nice and easy. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Just, <laughs> I don't wanna fall off the cliff. Okay, back this way. Got it. Now this way. No, oh, we are not jumping there. Well, I wasn't sure. Don't hit those. Oh gosh. Okay. This way. <laughs> no. Brambles. I'm sorry. Sorry, horse. This is dangerous. <laughs> Don't hit those. Oh my gosh. Those are the worst. All right. This way. Alright, it might have taken me two years, but I, I think I'm going to finish. <laughs> yes! We did it. Miss Morris. I know. Well done, but can't, can't I keep the game? It's just so much fun. I know. No, you are right. A promise is a promise. Here's to Jorvik's only copy of Zombie Horse Pole Bending Apocalypse. Ride back to the person who gets to keep it. Sigh. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> we will take it back to uh, the, not the foreman, the crew leader at North Link. We've procured your game, mm. sir. He's going to be so happy. Awesome. I'm going to play this until my eyes bleed. 
<laughs> the excavator? Uh, I'll come over with it soon. <laughs> I'm just gonna test out this game a little bit first. All right, buddy, we'll see you in a few days. <laughs> I know how that goes. <laughs> Guess what? The purple dye is ready. There, no, but the purple color is ready now. It's as good as it can be when made from my grapes. I suggest you ride to the tailor and give him the dye. I'm sure he'll be impressed. And ask him to not tell anyone else that you can make dye from my grapes. We have the purple dye. Can we have our vest now? Hey. No, but you're back. Oh, so it's true that she dyes her fabric with grapes. Such a beautiful hint. Tint. <laughs> This will be great. I promise not to tell anyone else that you can make dye from her grapes. Nova, I have all the colors I need now. You've done excellent work. The colors are all so pretty. I'll start making your vest now. Yes! Thank you, Donald. Thanks for joining me for this mashup of quests today, you guys. <laughs> I also got some shopping done. I know you guys love when I do some shopping. It's always fun. So I'm thinking we have some new gear. We have some new clothes. Maybe some new hair is in order soon, too. We've had this one for quite a while now. Let me let me know what you guys think. <laughs> for news this week, Aria said she loves the new Morgan and has one named Hawkeye to go with her Marvel set of horses, but she's still looking for the right Star Lord. So what do you guys think? Which breed would make a good Star Lord? I'm thinking Shire would make a pretty good Star Lord, right? <laughs> Joy was very sad that she could not go to the treehouse, but very excited that she started her own club. Congratulations, Joy. Her club is called the North Heroes Legacy. That's awesome. I hope you have a lot of fun. I asked you guys recently about some of your favorite horses from the horse market. I got a lot of responses. You guys really like those horses a lot. <laughs> April said her favorite horse is the Morgan with the dark coat and the orange yellow mane. She has one named Dark Rebel and she's saving up for a new Morgan to call Angel Wish. Very nice. Molly or Karen, they seem to share a YouTube account, <laughs> said that their favorite horse is the Westphalian and they have one called Storm Champion. So that's really cool. You guys keep letting me know what your favorite breeds are from the horse market. They don't always get a lot of attention, so I think they deserve it. There's a lot of fun characters there. <laughs> So let me know what you guys have been up to lately in Star Stable, what you're looking forward to. You guys always post your ideas and concerns and things you're doing, and I love it. I love reading it. So let me know what you're up to, what you'd like to see as well. Ideas are always appreciated for my videos, for the game. What do you want? <laughs> let me know. Let's chat. I will see you guys again soon. Have fun. Be kind to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye.